Okay, yeah, I just want to split recording for a second. The appropriate... Yeah, I don't know if I even want to... Mm, I could do some of the side stuff here. There's a lot of neat things you can do in Booster Pass, actually. Uh, uh, I don't think the neat wanna... things unlock until after you've been to the tower. You have to hit a switch in Booster Tower, mm -hmm. I remember that. Hey, oh, there's a flower, flower, flower! Ah, it's okay, I can come back and get that. Also, here on Booster Pass, some of them plants are actually enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're scary. Mm -hmm. They're they're creepy. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Wait, no. <laughs> no, wait, bad, no. <clears throat> I love his his inner monologue is just just completely not Bowser. <laughs> yeah, Sundari Bowser. It's not like I like you or anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bowser, you goof. Classic Bowser goof. I'm sorry, all I hear is woo, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, Bowser, all I hear That's is... That's the only <laughs> thing Mario hears whenever she speaks. Just... <laughs> there's, there's, there's a message in there somewhere, but I'm not sure, quite sure what it is. God, Bowser's sound is just really confusing. <laughs> See, in, in this continuity, <laughs> Mario's <laughs> silence is rooted in severe damage to the language center of the brain, but that is the only <laughs> level on which he can understand any part of the world. Yeah, he actually has no idea what the fuck anyone is saying. <laughs> He's kind of wandering around, and he pantomimes to try and get across what's happening. Just doing his best. <laughs> Would you like an explanation on how to? No. 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 Uh, explain nothing. Who's that person? Oh, well, we are immediately saying fuck off to Gino. Yep. We got Bowser. It's Bowser time. We got Bowser. Gino, turn in your Welcome gun in your Super pants. Bowser RPG, Legend of <laughs> Seven Bowsers. <laughs> Bowser has pants. There we go. And now we get to just a fantastic area of this game. Incredibly clever. Do you think he finds some sort of way to slip the pants inside of his shell? Oh no, let's talk to this guy because I do like this. That's where his legs are. There's hollow space inside of a turtle shell. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save here just in case because there's some weird fights in here. Um, we're gonna start with this. There's a lot of character in the Booster Tower. Mm -hmm. it's a fun place. Kind of the guy who owns this is sort of insane. It's kind of the idea. There's just there's just a local rich weirdo who built this tower and snippets work for him. And for some reason he just still acts like a child. And cannot. He is, he's kind of the Michael Jackson of the, uh, the Mario world. <laughs> That's a, actually a strong way to put it. <laughs> In some ways. Yeah. But he's just, yeah, he's kind of out of his mind and wants to be a child forever. Um, now this is actually important. You have to remember, Beret Cap Pirate Shades Nerd. Oh, damn it. Beret Cap Pirate These... Shade Nerd, yeah. These are the pictures of the seven, eight previous owners of this tower? Oh, five. Yeah, five. And then the, Booster the Boosters the are a proud, yeah. they're oh, a proud lineage of rich weirdos. I didn't mm -hmm. realize that that last one is actually the current booster. I thought he yep. was the seventh. Nope, that's but yeah, him, that I is that is him. Yep. So also, you gotta remember. He spends most of this dungeon hiding behind the corner of the next door over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just kind of he slowly retreats and watches you. Now the, the endless staircase of Sniffits. Mm-hmm. And here is another part of just fantastic music in this game. It's probably the best song in the game. Oh, it's so good. 
There's a hidden flower tab back there. Also, yeah, <laughs> that guy is insanely creepy, and he does all sorts of goofy goober stuff just all over the place. <laughs> and he comments in the chat there, yeah, the, the road not traveled. What if this had been made Wario Tower? Oh, God. Just Wario were here, <laughs> running a dungeon halfway through the game. Wait, there is a thing. There you go. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, if you go try and follow Booster, one of his attendants basically just comes out and is like, please don't fuck yep, with these, him. Uh, <laughs> these ones in the black robes, they, they have numbers and ranks. They're, they're the leaders of the Snippet organization. Mm -hmm. Also, the other thing is just uh, the magic in this place gets kind of dangerous, which is one reason the work pants are questionable but yeah. they help the attack so much that they're kind of worth it and honestly bowser is so good at this point in the game if yeah, you bowser have work really pants good. for him he is phenomenal even unarmed he's still very strong mm -hmm. bowser is massive physical wrecking machine mm -hmm. he has he has four kind of gimmicky not particularly useful spells which you don't really care okay, about so because remember, he's a physical wrecking machine remember when i said there was a single part of the game that i knew i'd be safe standing at here we are. It, Here we go. It's this one, and this is why. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. Oh! No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, unless you like the idea of climbing up that entire yep, fucking thing yeah. again. If you need to hit the thing to do a thing to get that box. The, I am actually very important box. I am actually kind of amazed I got that on the second try. I like how we got. We're, we're back to elevator music. <laughs> mm hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, so if you do miss that, you in fact do have to go all the way back up, and that fucking sucks. The nice thing is this masher is a huge upgrade. Yeah, you want to get it because this that hammer is great. It's better than like the next two weapons you could buy at stores. Mm -hmm. It's a great hammer. It is a fantastic item, so it is definitely, 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 definitely worth it. But it is, yeah, if you miss it, it is inconceivably frustrating yeah the work pants don't reduce magic defense they just have really just really really shitty than other the regular string of armor mm -hmm. for magic defense. but they're better at everything else so yeah work pants and yeah 20 damage up when you're... yeah when you are currently at 80 and you jump up to 100 that's pretty fucking significant also one sec here i i want everyone needs to be quiet so we can appreciate this Yeah, and that was like a really early callback for games. That was before they really became super commonplace. Mario's just like, what What the fuck happened just now? Yeah. Did I just get he... 15 years younger? What happened? Yeah, just... Oh my god, I... I just hallucinated oh, just three. wildly. Oh, is that Sniffit 3? Yeah, the guy firing bullets at you. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he's one of these... He's one of the, uh, the, the black ones. Yeah, that's right. Okay, if I remember right, too, the Rob Bombs are just totally not a threat. No, but those, uh, that, that, uh, Rod dude is, doesn't take a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, yeah, that's the big thing with the Masher, is that it has, uh, a huge attack variance. That's like the downside and the upside to it is it basically has like pseudo critical hits. Oh really? Sometimes, yeah. It, it, and someone just posted it in chat. Cecil so did. Uh, it'll it's base fifty, but it'll go up or down by thirty for just like no reason. Also, Sniffit three is just embarrassed what? that he did not get me. That's wow! I didn't know he changed his I, behavior. I also didn't what? know that. What? Wait, no. He's if you talk to him, he's like, you want to fight, and then he starts fighting you. Wait, really? Yeah. But you you broke it. <laughs> you missed your chance. Nice weather we're having. <laughs> I've never That's seen so that weird. actually. 
<laughs> ah, I've never seen that. But yeah, sometimes the masher will just do ludicrous amounts of damage, and sometimes it will not do much. Uh, I have a question for you. Are you going to attempt the optional no. fight? No. Oh, the optional <laughs> fight? Do you mean yeah. actually fighting booster? Yeah. I don't think so. I'm going to see if I can avoid it. Because if I remember you right, that fight is actually very hard. You could save state and show it off, because it is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to be underpowered if you keep skipping battles yes. like this? <laughs> Absolutely! Yes. That's kind of the joke. <laughs> I just am yeah. seeing how far I can push this. Like I, Feature I think marking you, will not fix. I, I don't think you could beat Booster. I bet maybe a bit too much, but it's still... Okay, so let's... Of... Here, here, let me do this from memory. Beret, Cap, Pirate, Shades, Nerd, Actual Booster. Yep, okay. Not that I've done this a bunch. <laughs> shiny high profile piece of loot from this dungeon. This is a very good thing to be able to do, yes. <laughs> Booster is just sitting there behind it, behind the portion <laughs> of himself. Hey, hey! I really like this dialogue too. Yeah, the, the, the chomp whisperer here. <laughs> Mario, <laughs> do, can you can you not look? Mario, I currently do not watch what I will do to this chomp. <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, that chomp just bit Booster in the balls or something, and now we are helping this chomp raise a ruckus. We are going to bring the boys and the noise. Both things are being brought. And now Bowser is even stronger. And now Bowser is even stronger. Bowser's weapon upgrades aren't huge because his base stats are so goddamn stupid. Also, I forgot that chest. Oops. Not a big deal. When you're a chump rancher, you learn these things. Whee. And wow, okay, so... Just so everyone knows, I have actually emulated this game on a... Um, uh, on a cell phone. And this is the worst part of the game on a cell phone, because you can't really yep. hold the, the run button and the jump button at the same time. It is the pits. One of the few times you really need to be able to run and jump. Ah, uh, this room. Yup. Yep, this is the room I mentioned where you can get a whole lot of luckies and sprint the prize wheel. Ty mm. is working carefully to avoid that. M many of the tiles in this room are traps that trigger an enemy encounter. But you get zoom I shoes. Which are if we ever do decide to go back and fight uh, that one thing, the rangers. Those will be nice, because they give you a speed up for whatever reason. Sure. So you can go faster. Why not? Yeah, Bowser. <laughs> Someone in chat just mentioned Bowser's final armor has the same stats as Peach's starting armor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, these guys are... Y'all... You know, these guys are really obnoxious. Uh, their evade is really high. And yep. they have rather lengthy attack animations. Uh-huh. Like, They're a little they, tedious. That's really the worst part, is how long it takes them to attack. <laughs> like, other than that, like, ah, whatever. But yeah, so if you step on an incorrect tile... You fight those things. And we're hitting the point where mushrooms are kinda not great, so I'm just gonna start... Have to start through those. knocking back all them weird forest <clears throat> mushrooms. Just shovel them into your throat. Are the uh, mid-mushrooms available yet? Uh, only oh, to yeah. find, I think. I have a couple, but... Oh, okay. Might and I'm gonna start blowing fights. through my honey syrups, too. Okay, now this part, to avoid the fights, is kind of a huge pain in the dick. But it is doable, uh... <laughs> it's, it's, it's doable, I didn't do it. It's doable. <laughs> oh, how I love the head bob on the idle chums. Just, they're just grooving. 
I'm doing that right now. Yo, when you think about it, Bowser throwing a chain chomp at a chain chomp to bite a chain chomp, pretty fucked up. <laughs> fucked that up, is but true. Fucked up. Yo. Ha 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 ha. Eh. Chompy <laughs> chomp world out there, man. You gotta. Oh, Dino learns actually one of, if not the best ability in like the whole fucking game. The the boost. Yeah. Holy shit, it's so good. Like that's that, that's the main reason to keep Gino in the fight is if you do it and time it correctly, he your people get like double attack and defense or at least huge boosts. And the only things that can really get rid of it are um are Shredder, which like so few enemies have. Oh, it's so mm -hmm. good. It's like one reason that's almost worth keeping him around, but he's boring and I don't like him. It doesn't stack, so you can only do one. But it and is it only works good. on one, one party member at a time. Mm hmm, that's the biggest <laughs> downside. <laughs> I love that line. My bride to be is chanting, Mario, help me, Mario, help me. <laughs> also, yeah, you can just hide from these. Booster just does not understand basic human anything. He's, he's pretty much lived in this tower his entire life, apparently. <laughs> and he just realizes he didn't get you, and he's like, well, bye-bye. Well, <laughs> train away! <laughs> Swing and a miss, Mike Piazza! <laughs> Man, I sure hope Punchinella will be by soon with my fresh shipment of bombs. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Other characters should talk more about Punchinello. Whenever Punchinello is not on the screen, people should be asking, where's Punchinello? <laughs> that, that would actually be amazing. Just, just be like, what happened to Punchinello? Just... Alright, and there's an asshole item. Yeah. He's a rapping terrorist? Yeah, what were you guys smoking when you thought about that? Mm -hmm. And goodie bag is something you can use in battle that just gives you items. I think that's all it does. In fact, I'm going to say One thing that already like puts that in thing the head. Again. On the new character scale, he is the fireworks factory. <laughs> Man, I didn't yeah. I know about the goodie bag, but I remember selling it. Oh, okay, yeah. Here's the part that I will actually go ahead and save state because you're right. I do kind of want to show this off. The fight here is pretty cool, but it is totally unwinnable, probably where I am in the yeah. game. Oh, I just realized he's got a Samus doll. Oh, you didn't see that before? No. Yeah. Why didn't you possess that fucking weird ass star beast? <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> oh man, and I can't wait for one of the best brick jokes that's coming up. Chat, please don't spoil it, but there is there is something great that's going to happen soon. In my opinion. Okay, so all you have to do here, um, we're just gonna get caught immediately. They're pretty uh, generous with, uh... Oh yeah, you have to get caught a bunch of times. Three times, I think. You get three tries. Mm hmm. Yeah, the thing that makes this the hardest is that it's isometric and sometimes a little tough to realize what you're lined up with. And the best way to do it is yeah. use the... Use the tiles. <laughs> ah, party. We haven't had one of those. <laughs> this, is, this complicated thing. Oh no, where's the Mario doll? Oh. Okay. So the whole idea here is, yeah, don't get caught, but we are doing the opposite of that. Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about the next boss fight too. If we're being honest, yeah, like not no, Booster. Yeah, no one might be. There's quite a few. Ugh, we might have to grind a smidgen. Okay, so this is going to be very difficult, if not unwinnable. Um, because Booster has some really, really obscene attacks. Holy shit! <laughs> Also, having 
four on three, it actually kind of evens things out. Um, especially since the heads of his, like, group have just obscene attacks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mutes and does a shit ton of damage. Oh, wow, mute actually doing something. Yeah, mute and 34 damage. <laughs> These guys are fucking oh, and brutal. You, you can't hit booster yet, that's right. Yep, you have to take all three of them out can first. You, wait, can you use fright on them? I think you they're might be immune. Able to lower their... okay. I wanna just say that they're immune. Also, he has now muted another party member and done more to and just knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> these, <laughs> these guys are a big problem, actually. We need to at least see the train attack. Uh, there's the goal. Also, yeah, you don't get an item if you fight him this way. Right. And the item you get from here is actually exceptional for I a very love, large part of the game. I love the sprite for party members who have been muted. The <laughs> just, They're just sad. Oh no, I'm more I'll mute never than I sing normally again. Am. Maybe, yeah, what is Mario worried about? He's already maybe, mute. Maybe it's like context sensitive. Muting Mario means paralyzing him. <laughs> oh god, the biggest problem here is I can't... Shut down his mime gland. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna try terrorize, but it's spin the joystick, isn't it? Yep. Oh god. This is gonna suck. Oh god. Oh. No, oh, it didn't inflict fear, I don't think. Did you get the, uh, the exclamation point? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's pretty sure oh, that's is it? what that means. Yeah. Oh. They are not immune to fear. Someone in chat is, holy shit. Wow, that actually makes this fight way easier. Yeah. Can someone confirm or deny whether or not the uh, second group, the guys I will actually be fighting for realsies, are immune I, to fear? I think they are. Oh. I remember trying it on, like, everything. Yeah, also, Booster is a huge pain in the ass once he gets the train. Which is basically the whole reason I'm doing this. <laughs> also, his, his punch. Oh, and this attack. Yeah. Yeah, that attack is stupid. Uh, and blocking it is just like, what, how, how? Yeah, blocking the spritz is ridiculous. You're doing a lot of damage to him, though. You could probably knock him out. I could probably win this fight. But it, I, I would, I would say, you know, show off all the stuff, get the, get the mm -hmm. amulet too. Well, the main reason I want to get the amulet is because the amulet is exceptional. Also, yeah, here comes the train attack. Which <laughs> you better run a train on you. Bowser Literally. has fucking obscene, obscene stats. Oh, he needs to be below 500 HP for the train to appear. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That was better than I expected. Um, the, but we are not going to do that. The train should be doing like 70 at least to your other characters. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's do this properly now. Yeah, holy shit, I thought that was way easier. Um, yeah, Sissel, can you look up whether or not the clown bros... Knife yeah, knife guy and ball guy? <laughs> Ballman? Knife guy and great guy. Is it great guy? It's, okay. Yeah, it's, it's G-R-A-T-E. I, I don't know why. <clears throat> Okay, now we need to get to hide <coughs> from Goof Troop. Yeah, I plan on uploading all this to YouTube. Well, the thing that's fucked up is there's Knife Guy who is a knife <laughs> juggling man, and then there's the great guy, guy. who is... Oh, it's supposed to be nice guy, apparently. 
Oh, like, really? Knife to meet you. Uh, <laughs> did not oh, know that. Okay. That's great. Thank you for the correction, Ugly Square. I was concerned we were going to miss a great opportunity. Uh, I thought I was going to have to ban you for that. <laughs> Save. This, you will, I will settle for a timeout now. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's try and do this properly. Wah. <laughs> oh, neither of them are immune to fear. Oh, okay. Exceptional. Wow, that'll I probably make that really, that'll make that easy. Yeah, here's where they start trying to pull those asshole moves. These goobers, where they start like being like, "Oh, we're gonna open here." <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Never mind that we've checked every curtain at least five times. Yeah. <laughs> they do that shit. Yeah. I love how this whole sequence is designed as far as <laughs> just all the setup and wind up and so forth. It's just very well played. It is the same sequence every time, but it does a good job of just being challenging and how it's organized. Keeps you moving, keeps you thinking. Yeah, that's the only downside. I'm pretty sure if you get caught, you have to do the whole thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. Boop. Yeah, you do. And then you just knock down his doll for him. And he gives you the amulet, which is yep. an exceptionally high quality item. Upon locating you, he does not care because he has <laughs> found his toy. <laughs> and there's the password. You know, it's not nice to broadcast my password <laughs> for my bank account. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting. God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, the reason the amulet is fantastic is because it is just a fairly significant boost to all of your stats. It is What's really, really good. Something? Um, I can't remember if it... It might protect against one-hit kills? I can't remember, actually. That was a joke three hours in the making. It sure was. <laughs> and, right. Good night. And, and we're done here. Good night. That's the only reason I was doing this. Is to get in one solid ass man joke. <laughs> the end. Yeah, this was, an, this was an ass man run, guys. It, it's, <laughs> it's... Okay, so now, yeah, this fight. Which is... Definitely one of the harder ones when you first do it. Alright, let's... Let's rotate this 360 D-pad, which is the best D-pad! Oh. God, it's terrible. So hopefully this will help out a lot, because these guys do a fuck ton of damage. If I remember right, one of them is weak to lightning and one is weak to fire? Yeah, that's what the guy said on, uh, uh, in the chat. Okay. Yeah, I think it's knife is weak to fire. Other guy is weak. Do lightning. And when I say weak to fire, I mean very, because he is the guy that's physical. And of course, he's gonna try and sleep Mario, so he can't do that anymore. And great guy has really bad magic skill, or he's really bad uh, physical. So you want to use physical on one of them, and magic on the other. Um, the reason it is inconceivably dangerous to leave Great Guy alive is he gets, what is it, Meteor? Star? He gets, like, Star Storm or something. Something that can do a shitload of damage. Or, no, that's right, they stack up. I forgot about that. Oh, God. 
And yeah, he gets Meteor Blast, that's what it is. Um, and you should always be- God damn, I feel like I'm just doing really good in this fight or something. <laughs> I remember this being harder. Oh, there it is, he starts using Crystal. The amulet helps a lot. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I was waiting on. <laughs> also, Mario is refusing to wake up. <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> Mario, would you please quit being a stupid fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> And that's one nice thing when we get Peach, is, uh, therapy takes care of that. Yeah, they never really, um, give the, uh, enemy similar attacks to you. I do like that. Like, even the magic is all very different. Alright, kick this guy's ass, please. Oh, good gravy. Wait, the amulet makes you weak to all those things? Really? I never knew that. Oh. Huh. This game has a lot of really deep numbers and shit. That you just... There's so many things going on that you never figure out. Okay, they have unstacked. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Final Fantasy VI where just random stats don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a flower jar, which is wonderful. That is one of the best items to get. And let's just jump off the tower. Whatever, no, there's no fall. Yeah, down. exactly. We gotta go. No time. And now we get to do one of my favorite mini games with some of my favorite music in the whole game, too. Yeah, this is fantastic. Mm hmm. <clears throat> He's just like, what? Where? Where did she go? <laughs> oh, I forgot! I strapped this woman to my back. Yo, Mario, let's have fun. <laughs> just, let's let's uh let's cheese it. Okay, so this part is actually shockingly weird, but if you do it really well, you can get pretty good prizes. Yeah, there are some Stuff. huge one-time rewards for the. Mm -hmm. For the story mode of Booster Hill. Mm hmm. Uh. There you go, there's one. Yeah, it is shockingly difficult to do. This is this is not easy to do. Mm -hmm. Very tight timing on this. Oh god, and if you mess up you just get sent way back. There we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Just like bouncing yeah, you, can, you can see that whole skyline in the background, and it's like every level gradually scrolling, and everything is represented in it, including places we haven't been yet. Oh, 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 come on! No! <laughs> no, why am I doing so poorly? Okay, there what we go. We Two. Two. Jesus, this is a bad run. It would not surprise me in the slightest if there is someone at the top of this hill that Booster pays quite well to throw <laughs> barrels down it. <laughs> like, oh man, I get married today and I get to do the barrel run. Awesome. God, I love barrel day. run day. Yay. Uh, should, we, should we maybe, if, I mean, if, he's he if the boss is heading for his wedding, maybe we shouldn't throw the barrels? No, you no that would be less fun. I will fire you if you stop throwing barrels. Throw twice as many barrels. <laughs> Please, more barrels. <laughs> 
Bonus barrel day. Yeah, wedding. Yeah! Special. Bonus barrels for my future wife. God, I love <laughs> weddings. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing too, is it's pretty clear that Booster's character, he just has no idea how any of this works. <laughs> like he no. says it multiple times. Wedding is, but he knows that it's important and he gets to have one, so he's excited. And cake. It's like he was raised by really <laughs> rich wolves. Wolves of Wall Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're looking for an ugly guy? Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, I saw that guy. <laughs> Ooh. He was not a pretty man. Whoa. <laughs> he had two faces. Would it, oh, that was someone strapped to his back. Okay, I don't remember if there's anything fancy to get here. The hotel here is very expensive if you go for the good one. Um, Chomp Shell isn't as good, I don't think, as the one we got. Yeah, that's the, the back in case you missed the proper Chomp. Womp uh, Glove is going... better. I'm just going to be posting relevant things while we do this. Okay. No, I am not doing the blowing all of it. For some reason, I thought the bottom that said Hooters. I was <laughs> yes. inconceivably confused. <laughs> Bo <laughs> Booster cosplayers now at Hooters. Womp Glove. I would, is, I this would is go. a really, yeah, Womp Glove's own. I would go to Boosters, the gimmick restaurant where all the wait staff dress as Booster. <laughs> There's just Beatles. And get into character as reason. Booster. Well, oh, all man. your food is served by way of throwing a barrel at your table. <laughs> Everybody just yells loudly and is incredibly confused. So yeah, here we are in, in the city whose primary industry is weddings. It's marriage. Literally marriage. Yeah, that's, they that's have his thing. the only cathedral in the world, and everyone comes here to get married. And again, booster servants have just thrown everyone out. <laughs> so that everybody's just... Alright guys, we need, we need to do a wedding. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Wait, no, guys. we're getting married. Well, that blows. Because booster is... Today? <laughs> Who's the nutcase who just started screaming? What a douchebag! No, today is my wedding. Also, yeah, you can leave through there. For some reason. Um, and yeah, so you can't go in through the front door. <laughs> and they'll just tell you, like, I'm pretty sure the back entrance is locked. I think I remember doing I that. Think. I'm pretty sure we sent Dave to take care of that. The only trick is He's remembering... He's such a good photographer, he requires no visible camera to do his job. Oh shit, yeah, I can't... that's pretty good. Oh shit, where is the back it's... entrance? No, it was... True it's mastery were... of optical wizardry there. No, you had it. Just a little more to the... Yeah, you oh, there to we go. walk yeah, yeah. back towards it inside the, the elbow. <laughs> These two gentlemen who get very Punchinella upset with you. Punchinella was going to lock the back door for you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Punchinella yeah, was going to take care of it. To, you're supposed to deliver the secret spice stick. <laughs> okay, I just stepped Punchinello. on the... Okay, I, I am fairly certain there is a hidden thing somewhere in this room. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Are you going to stomp the cake? I did, alright. Yeah, I stomped the cake. It might be worth refreshing. It has been yeah, my, my stream three and a half hours. Yeah. You look like Mario, but there's no way he could have gotten inside. Ergo. <laughs> We're using our sniff it logic. <laughs> hey, you want to help me break the door down so we can go tell my boss that you're here? This is actually surprisingly a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. If you look very closely, you can see Punchinello's wedding invite sitting on the floor <laughs> delivered. <laughs> Punchinello, where are you? My dearest and oldest friend of the family, Punchinello. <laughs> Turns out he's actually like a duke. <laughs> duke and Ello. Yeah. 
in the next kingdom over, he's his like his great and wondrous contributions to science have gotten a major prize named after him. He teaches yeah, at their university. He's very yeah, well he got known. Yeah, the Nobel there. Bomb Prize. See, unlike Nobel, he's proud of how much damage his explosives have done and encourages people to, to reach higher and explode farther. 